what in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. 1952, all original um, CJ3A. Really cute little rig. I love a Survivor. You know, just, just something really original here. And we'll take a look. You know, it's got original paint and, and everything on it. And uh, it's just a cool rig. This is the kind of stuff that I really like. I like little utility, interesting rigs. So. We'll go ahead and walk around it and uh, talk about it a little bit. Go ahead and show you the lights. Those are original uh, lights. You can see the headlights, the bright lights. You can see our blinkers are working and the brights. Do the left one again on the bottom. There we go. Anyways, we'll uh, look at it here. You know, the only things that I've done to it is just kind of maintain it and it was really really faded and i decided hey you know what let's try to wax it and see if that comes back and uh it really did i mean it's it's pretty bright definitely a lot of patina the other thing is i put the original tires on it you know military tires that didn't have those and i painted the wheels and uh relube the axles and stuff up here in the front so you can see tires are brand new just got them and uh put new wood blocks here those are there when you lift up open the hood it sets up there against the the roof line but the nice thing about this jeep is it is not rusty if you look across the bottom of the rockers really nice this here's a little drain actually i don't know what that hole was for i think this hole there was for you can see this line right there that line is for the uh, vacuum for the the wipers but this has been converted over to electric but you look, look at the fenders, really nice shape. Original paint on the Willys emblem. There, I didn't want to repaint that. You look here across the, the cowl, really nice. You can see here, this was originally black around the front. You can see, see here, but someone a long time ago actually probably painted it with a paintbrush. And you can see where it's a little surface rusty here, but they painted it with a paintbrush. And uh, so it's pretty cool. You look around here, look down the side. Looks pretty clean. I love the look of this thing. I love the top. I'll show you the tag on the other side. You know, it's the original top that was put on it when it was new. And it was originally a uh, primered uh, color, kind of a kind of a rust color. And you can see that uh, actually when they painted it, they actually paint brushed it with the, the silver. And you can see here it doesn't have any rust through on the top. Very cool. I like the ski racks on the top. You can see a broken window uh, here. Go around here and look around the back. You know, again, not rusty. Pretty amazing shape. I think originally they only came with that light and uh, these lights have been added. There's a couple holes here where there was another light. Let's go ahead and uh, show you the tail lights are on. Obviously, we'll show you the brake lights. There's your blinkers. We got brake lights. Brake lights all work. Real old organ plate on it, but you know, really, it's in an amazing shape. Someone put a little red piece of tape there, but again, that's the original paint. There, very cool. Look here around the other side. I actually went ahead and put uh, five spares on it, and uh, or I mean a fi five tires with including the spare, but very cool. Koenig Ironworks. This is modeled 320, and uh, they're out of uh, Texas, but this is original top, and it looks real good. And uh, so I love the top on it actually. When we look in the inside, you can tell that I don't think this top's ever been off this thing. You look here at the bottom of the cowl. You know, again, real clean. 
I was talking to, a, you can see all the original spot welds here as well. I was talking to a guy at a, uh, uh, he was a CJ um, Willie's Restorer, and he was telling me that the, um, these running boards, these steps, you couldn't believe that they were actually on the rig. That was the first thing that people took off or they got ripped off by stumps out in the woods. And uh, he goes, it's been very rare that I've ever seen an original set on one of these. So that's actually pretty cool about it. But overall, I mean, the thing's in really nice shape. We'll uh, take a look on the inside. We'll pop it up on my uh, lift and uh, show you underneath the hood. Let's take a look inside the, the little Jeep. Actually, you'll see here um, the chrome on the locks, or the door handle's real nice. We do not have keys to the lock. And also, I didn't point out, there's a little, little crease right there. And I'll show you how that happened. Go ahead and look in here. The interior is real nice, you know, for what it is. It's very Spartan. And, uh, but I had the, the only thing I did in here is I had the seats recovered but I didn't paint the frames and I didn't uh, replace the, the screws. I wanted to use the original screws because I wanted to keep it as original as we could. But this is done exactly how uh, it should be. It's got new foam and everything on the seats. And we, they had the springs, but the springs were, were bad. And uh, so they uh, replaced it with foam. But uh, you know, it looks real good in here and the seats are nice and comfortable. You can see across the dash. We do a video of it driving as well, just showing you different stuff about it. So I'm not gonna go through all that. You look underneath, you know, it hasn't been all hacked up or anything. You know, it looks good. Well, there was a little repair, not on this side. You can see the original floor. You know, this is actually in really, really good shape. And, uh, but on the passenger side, there was a little patch that was done probably Oh, I guess it was about 10 years ago, and uh, but you can see here, original spot welds all inside here, and uh, everything looks real clean. You know, the paint looks real good in here, and uh, pretty impressive. We'll uh, walk around here uh, to the back. Oh, I mentioned that little uh, dent, um, that crease. There wasn't a uh, strap broke on it, and so it allowed this to fly out, and, uh, and it hyperextended onto the the um, mirror and uh, and, it, and it creased it. So um, we'll look here too. These um, couple holes right here. When they put this top on it, they uh, move the mirror up here. It used to actually connect down here on the side. But we'll go ahead and uh, look through the back. You know, again, in in nice shape. Look at the original green paint, and uh, you'll see scratches and stuff, obviously. But you know, it looks really good and uh, no rust. You can see here these little indentions. It never had a back seat in it. If you wanted to put a back seat in it, you could. And uh, But those usually um, are popped out if there was a seat in here. But you can look here, you know, the floor and the, around the tunnel. They're very good. You can see the back of the seats look good too. And uh, you can see inside here on the top, you know, again, looks looks really good. And uh, pretty amazing to find you know, one of these with the top still on it. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look here to the other side. The windows do roll up and down, but they don't really roll, they, they slide. So you can see how those little catches, they do stay up. And uh, we did put new gaskets around the door here on the edge and on the inside. And uh, we'll just go ahead and look at the seats. Nolan, go ahead and I want to show that other window over there real fast. It's got, it does have a little crack. And I just wanted to show it, it rolling up. You can see a crack going across it. And uh, it could probably be replaced. And uh, you can see there at the bottom of the corner, you know, it's got an edge out, but that, that's supposed to be there like that. And, uh, but it, it just got broken down there, so. Go ahead and look here across the dash. Again at the original tag. You can see the four wheel drive. Here you got high, low, and four. And uh, this gas tank has been replaced as plastic. A little safer. But this is it where that patch was that I was talking about. 
you know, on the floor. And that's the only, you know, little bit of rust I've ever seen. Actually, I didn't ever see it because it, it was replaced, but, um, but that's where the repair was. Go ahead and flip the seat up. There's a little compartment underneath the seat here. There we go. You can see the original paint there. Looks good. You can see a little bit of surface rust in here, but it's not rusty. What I would probably do is probably clean that up a little bit and put some 4, 415 on it, but there's there's no rust through it. It's, it's real solid. And uh, we'll put it on my lift so you can see it a little better. You can see inside the wheel well here is, is very clean. And uh, But hopefully that gives you a good look at the interior. Um, again, it's real fun to drive and, you know, it's a pretty cool little rig. One quick thing I wanted to show you too is that these actually, these back windows, they actually slide. There's a little, little clasp right there and they slide back and forth, you know, all the way open. You know, that's pretty cool. You can see here too and uh, that this one here has a crack on it and, uh, but that one does slide open as well. Uh, actually I say a crack, it's got a lot of them, but anyways, just wanted to point that out. here we are we're gonna take a look underneath the hood uh, we're gonna do a cold start on it so I'll show you different things uh, about the throttle and, and choke um, but anyways you just slip the latches here on each side there's not a, a safety catch so you just got to be careful uh, not to drive off like that and you'll notice the little wood blocks up here those are actually there for a reason and I'll show you that they what they do um, the uh, also, you'll notice that the on the front it has the optional, and this is original um, screen across the front of the the uh, grill, and it, it comes off real easy. You just pop it, pop it off there, and uh, you can see how it just has little catches there at the bottom. I didn't mean to pull it off so hard. Anyways, they just snap right back in place there. So, anyways, that just stops from debris getting in there and stuff especially um, you know if you're in grassy areas or or anything like that and the other thing I'll mention real fast here too before we pop the hood open is this is a, obviously a, a CJ3A and there's also a CJ3A or a B and the B actually has a higher 
hood. It comes up about that high and comes across the back there. And the engines are different as well. This is a, um, a uh, L head uh, engine. They call it a, like an L4-134. Sometimes they call it a 134 um, <clears throat> uh, L. And, uh, but its nickname is the Go Devil. And the 3A had the Hurricane, which wasn't actually a flathead. But anyways, we'll hop, pop the hood up in here. That's what the wood pieces are for. So it, it rests against the uh, windshield frame and stuff. But we'll take a look underneath the hood here. And uh, you can see the cowl is real nice. You know, no damage or anything like that. We'll look here at the uh, serial number. It's all correct, and it matches the VIN on the on the title. Right up here on the front is the engine number. You can see it says, uh, kind of shaded out there. It says 3J121525. That is a correct... Uh, VIN that you want to see on something like this. They all started, the uh, the 3, 3A started with 3J, and then they, they serial numbered uh, them up as uh, as the years went, and it doesn't match the VIN on the, uh, on, the on the Cal tag over there, but it's not supposed to either. You'll see here, it says the Jeep name and Willys, and, uh, but it's actually a really cool little running motor. It runs really, really smooth. We'll start it up here in a second, but you can see the inner uh, aprons and stuff look real nice. <clears throat> Radiator still has a shroud on it, which is, you know, surprising. A lot of those things get taken off. You can see it's got a external uh, oil filter as well. Those are usually nice additions to these and uh, pretty period correct. You can see the generator down there. It's running on six volt, you know, pretty new battery. And also it's got the original air bath uh air cleaner on it so anyways you can see the apron everything looks nice um <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh show you here i'll show you the choke works you can pull on the choke a little bit there's the choke and then there's a throttle as well you know on the floor and on the uh, dash but pull the throttle so you can see the throttle pulled so if you're actually out driving it and cruising around you can just pull that throttle I guess you could say it kind of acts like a, uh, um, you know, kind of a cruise control, but, you know, it's really not. Enough of my rambling, uh, but I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, just different stuff about the engine. So let's go ahead and pull, pull the choke just a little bit. It's warm out. This is a cold start, and uh, so it hasn't ran yet. And uh, go ahead and there's a, you turn the key on, and there's a push button underneath the uh, dash where you, you uh, kick with your foot. So go ahead and uh, fire her up. You know, you can hear it run. It is really smooth. He went ahead and pushed the choke back in there a, a minute ago, but go ahead and pull on that throttle button lever. You can see how the engine revs up. And then you can push it back in. Or you can use the gas pedal, so. Um, you can see here, it just runs really, really smooth and it uh, runs like a little sewing machine and uh, sounds real nice. No exhaust leaks or anything like that. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it sounds, it sounds great. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, listening to one of the little Jeeps on MASH. And uh, so you can just get a good idea there what it looks like um, and, and just the quality engine it is and uh, sounds great. You can see here also I was gonna mention on the hood, a lot of, uh, um, surface rust here. Now you can see this blue, you know, don't let that uh, fool you. This, it's not like the hood was blue, obviously. This is original paint, but they, you can see it was paint brushed on. I think they just took some blue paint a long time ago and uh, tried to uh, just protect this and obviously it, it didn't do it. So um, you can actually take that and scrape it off with your finger. You can see here it just flakes off and uh, Probably over a weekend if you get most of it off, but you know it is is there. So I just wanted to show you that, and uh, go ahead and uh, walk back here, and I'll let you see the exhaust. Go ahead and rev it up a little. You know it doesn't blow smoke. Sounds real, real nice. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the uh, the engine and in general, and it does drive great. And uh, 
So we'll show you some other stuff. Hey, here we are underneath the CJ. Figured we'd uh, put it on the lift and take a look. And that's the first thing I look at when I look at a car is, um, I don't care how pretty the paint is on the outside, I'm gonna crawl underneath and look at the frame and, and uh, floors and everything. So we'll take a look underneath here and uh, see what we got. It's actually really clean underneath. You know, obviously there'll be surface uh, rust and dirt and different things from, you know, 60 something years of use, but it's pretty amazing underneath in general. We'll go ahead and he here and look at the front axle. You know, it looks real clean. You can see actually it's got the original shocks on it. I mean, that's one thing that I didn't, I thought about changing, but they are original and uh, the thing drives nice. So um, I just wanted to kind of keep it as original as I could. You can see here the front axle, you can see the numbers. got the little codes we'll have that all on the auction and uh, you know overall you know the brakes are good you know I already mentioned the tires we just put those on there you look at the frame on this thing I mean in amazing condition you know it's not rusty you can see up there on the perches and stuff very very clean see the front radiator support real nice go back here we'll look at inside the inner wheel wells really nice condition not hit not rusty there's only one spot of rust underneath here which i already showed that is um on the passenger floor it's amazing that it actually even got rusty there because the rest of this thing is really amazing uh condition you know usually these supports get rusty i mean again they're really clean you know here you can see these uh steps you know all attached look good you know the frame again no rust very very clean you can see this floor up here too very nice condition you can see the inner floor here you know all the structure very very nice and again this here we're looking on the uh, driver's side. We'll go here and look in the passenger side. You know, again, the floor looks excellent. You know, all the supports and everything, you know, they're not rusty. Right up in here is an area where it can co collect and uh, it looks real nice up in that area. This is the only spot and I was going to show you right here. See on the outside of the floor, it looks real good. You can see the frame looks nice but right up in here where that patch is that we uh, um, saw on the floor up above you know you can see the the sides of it and uh, they just patched it up there but that'd be easy to fix actually if you wanted to fix it you can see up there in the firewall looks clean um, <clears throat> you'll see some seeping and stuff around the uh, the engine block you know on the gasket but nothing's really hitting the floor you can see some some seeping coming out the uh, pinion seal there. But, you know, it's just a lot of just, you know, seepage and stuff. We have, I haven't even seen a drop hit the floor. Not saying it never will. It's just, um, you know, we just got out, you know, we're just done driving it, at, you know, probably about an hour ago and there's no, no drips or anything. Hit my head there, sorry. You can see the uh, sipping or a uh, little seepage on the, uh, um, on the transfer case and, uh, all the fluids look good in it as well. You can see here the axle, you know, it's not, uh, you know, the U-joints look good. And uh, you can see this U-joint too. You can see up here in the floor, looks very clean. We'll go around here to the back, look up inside the wheel well. It looks very clean. Back here around where the tail lights are. You know, it looks nice, nice condition. Go over here to the passenger side. You know, it's really, really a nice, nice shape. You can see up here behind the tail lights and stuff. You can see up here in the wheel well. You know, very clean. 
And uh, go up here to the front one more time. You can see here the bottom of the the rockers and stuff. All the, the original uh, spot welds and stuff are going across there. Go up here to the front, you know, the cowl area. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and look at this wheel well here in her apron. You know, getting it? It looks really, really in good shape. And uh, it's just amazing the condition that this thing is. We'll go ahead and show you the hubs. I'm not sure if these, these are kind of period correct. I'm not sure if they're uh, the original hubs to the, the rig. Another guy had told me that these are kind of period correct, but um, they might have had a little uh, dust cover here. But uh, when you're towing it and things, um, you want to uh, engage uh, or uh, make a freewheel. And uh, the other one, um, you couldn't do that. So this is a popular thing. And the other thing is that I just want to show you here if you're ever taking these wheels off these are a right hand thread and uh so um anyways uh hope that helps a little bit it's very original and uh i think uh whoever gets it's going to be pretty happy because it's it's a nice little rig